To some, I am Madeline, the way too serious schoolgirl who's working for an Ivy League diploma. To others, I am Goose, the photogenic fencer, snowboarder, rock climber, violinist, traveler, animal lover, friend, and so much more. But the true question is, how do I see myself? Or who am I, really? Am I the young girl looking for fun? Or am I the older, more serious woman? Maxima Rye battles with these same questions in the book Saving the World and Other Extreme Sports by James Patterson. This book is about a 14-year-old girl named Maximum Ride, who is 98% human and 2% bird. She has no parents and is constantly on the run with the rest of her so-called family. There's Fang, Iggy, Nudge, the Gasman, and Angel, and they are all like Max in the sense that they are all orphans with wings. They are all runaways from a cruel organization called The School, where they grew up in cages and Max discovered what she was meant for. She was made to save the world. But she's not quite sure if she wants to. On the outside, she is brave and strong, but on the inside, she is hurt and longing to be normal. On page 347, Max tells herself, pain is merely a message, and you can ignore the message. In this passage, Max is telling herself to ignore the pain inside of her and just be who everyone wants her to be. But is this the right decision? Who comes first, everything and everyone, or you? That's what this book is all about. Max's life has been planned out for her. It seems to be one small problem, one small enemy at a time. At one point, the voice inside of her head says, the Hydra itself must be killed, Max, the whole thing at once. This is just one head. Find the body and kill it. The Hydra is representing the main problem, and the heads are representing the smaller issues that are caused by the main problem itself. The voice is telling Max that if you ever want to get over a problem, then you have to tackle the cause and not be distracted by the small problems that keep coming up. In the story, these small problems just aren't giving Max the time to decide for herself who she wants to be. In the end, when she is working to defeat the Hydra, or a company called Itex that is taking over the world, she must battle a boy named Omega. Omega is said to be perfect, and without a single flaw, just like everybody sees Max. When she's battling him, I think that he is supposed to represent her outside image, while she represents her internal image. Who will win, and what will become of Maximum Ride? Although these questions are never answered, I still find myself trying to answer them for myself. I strongly suggest that you read the book Saving the World and Other Extreme Sports by James Patterson, for in the end, it might make you rethink how everyone sees you and how you see yourself.